earlier this morning, we got the news that Arizona State football legend Frank Cush had passed away. Now, Cush coached ASU from 1958 to 1979, racking up an amazing 176 wins, leading the Devils to national prominence going undefeated in 1970 and again in 1975. His Sun Devil football team finished that season as the number two ranked team in the country. Coach was inducted into the College Hall of Fame in 1995. Well, ABC 15's Mike Pelton joins us live from Sun Devil Stadium, where the field is named in his honor with more on the man who meant so much to so many. Well, and here's how much he meant to the Sun Devil community. Within the past hour, a couple came out here. They're celebrating 60 years of marriage. They stood right here with a bottle of champagne in front of the statue of Frank Cush. They wanted to honor the coach who for decades loomed large here at ASU. I always wanted him to, to tell me I could have played on one of his teams. Seven, Former Arizona. Sun Devil starting quarterback Rudy Carpenter began his football career at ASU in 2005. Decades after, Frank Cush walked the sidelines, but they talked on a near weekly basis. Frank always told me in those Monday meetings, which was, he's like, go chase history. Carpenter credits the Sun Devil legend for teaching him about the program's history. It was more just how to be a quarterback, how to be a leader. And he's learning from one of the best, 176 wins during the Cush era, which saw some of the brightest days in the 70s. The coach fired in 1979 after allegations he punched a player, but he rejoined ASU administratively in the year 2000. Cush leaving a legacy as a tough teacher. He loved to call me soft and, and that bothered me, you know what I mean? And so, but there was a lot of, a lot of good dialogue I had with Frank and I appreciated it. And after Carpenter's final season, a final conversation with the former Sun Devil coach. One time where, you know, Frank was like, acknowledged me and said I could play for him and and he's not sure if I could have made it up Mount Cush but I definitely could have played for him so um, I obviously appreciated that as well. Now back out of here live today I talked with several former players who played under coach Cush one of them Steve Matlock who played in the early 1970s described the coach as tough beyond tough and there are certainly a lot of people missing the coach tonight. Craig. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. Clearly, Coach Cush, a, an icon here in the Valley for more than six decades tonight. So many fans offering their condolences and sharing their favorite memories of him with us. If you'd like to share, just head to our ABC 15 Arizona Facebook page.